When this ISDT608 PD smart charger arrived for review, wasn't initially that impressed. It's just another cheap pocket charger that looks okay and it costs $30. You know, so what? But I quickly realised after a few days using it, this has a couple of very surprising features that make it the perfect portable charger to have in your flight bag. And after nearly three weeks using it, this is what I use on a daily basis now. Let's have a closer look and see why. Hello and welcome to the Whirly Bloke channel. The ISDT 608PD is a small and light 250 watt pocket charger that supports all range of battery chemistries, LiPo, high voltage LiPo, Liffy, LED and so on. You could use this on the bench but it's really designed as a field charger and because of that it's got no internal power supply. You power this from an external battery between 5 and 30 volts so realistically that's anything between 2 and 6S. You just plug your LiPo in the XT60 at the top and depending on the battery that you use, this charger will deliver 10 amp charge current and is rated at 240 watts. And right next to the XT60, there's a USB-C port so you can power this from a USB power pack. And this supports USB PD charging. So if you use a powerful enough pack, this will deliver up to 5 amps charging current and it's rated at 140 watts. You get an IPS screen, there's a nice quiet fan built in and the case, case feels fairly nicely made. On the bottom here is the XT60 connector, the main port for your charge battery and the balance lead and wait, what's this? It supports 6S. This was the first pleasant surprise I got when this arrived. I think this is the first pocket charger that I've seen that supports 6S and up to an impressive 240 watts. And that's fantastically useful. Now up until now, I've been using this Toolkit RC M4 Pocket as my field charger. It's about the same size. This is a bit taller but a lot thinner. It's about the same price, but it's only 80 watts and it's only 4S. So it's no good if I'm flying with my 6S batteries. So let's try and charge something up. So I think I'm going to power this from my big beefy USB power pack here. So this output here is 141 watts. And if you haven't seen this uh, charge it, pack before or this power pack rather check out my other video it is the best quite literally so if we plug that in here up it comes and it says max input power 60 watts and there's a little burst of fan goes on which is fine and let's charge this 4S1300 so plug that at the bottom of that I'll plug this over this side. Sort of left justified. Get that out of the way. Right, and let's have a look. So this is telling me the cell voltage. I've got four cells, which is fine. And it tells me that I've got 15.3 volts. So think long press this. And this takes us to the setup screen. Pretty simple to use this. There's some presets that you get to, so we're on preset 2 there, preset 3, preset 4, preset 5. And you can see I've actually been using this. So my first preset sets at LiPo and it's charge. You can set it to balance charge and so on. Uh, it's 4S, 4.2 volts, which is the end voltage. And I'm going to charge at 1.3. Oops, I think I hit the turn button there. 1.3 amps. Okay, to get out of that, you just short press. Now, it is a little bit confusing, the combinations of short and long presses on this. Now, that has immediately started charging, as you can see. Wasn't what I really wanted, 
but actually, you know, it's okay. So uh, we are charging, and it's telling me that my charge current is now 1.2 amps, and we can see that the wattage here is 22 watts, and what the internal temperature is in this box. And you can see if you look at my charge pack, that's saying it's taking 25 watts. And then if you cycle around here, you can see the individual cell voltages. And there you've got the internal resistance of each cell, which is all very useful. To stop charging, you just single press. Again, it's sort of easy to know how to do this when you've been using it for a little while. So let's just try charging something else up. Let's, let's try this 6S here. This is a uh, 1350 success battery bear in mind i'm charging this from a hey okay i'm charging this from a usb power pack so it's only actually delivering normally five volts but because it's pd it could be anything up to 21 volts i think something like that anyway this does need a bit of a charge you can see it's been in storage 3.85 volts which is nice so i am going to low press this which takes us into the setup screen. I'll select the custom setting that I've got on here, which is 6S LiPo at 1.3 amps. And you just short press it, get it charging. And here we go. This is charging now at, uh, there we go, 1.2 amps. And we can see that the end, well, the current voltage is 23.4. And again, if we look on here, this is now drawing, if you can see, 37 watts. So it's reasonably easy to use and it is pretty quick. So short press that to stop charging. Finding these combinations of short and long press is a little bit fiddly, to be honest. So let's disconnect that power. Oh, one other thing that you can do with this, which I found very useful, is a lot of chargers don't do this. You need to charge, you know, put power on everything. But you can use this as a uh, cell voltage checker out in the field, which is useful as well. So we can see there what we've got. So if you're not using a power pack like this, you may choose to have one of your spare batteries it could be one that you're flying with i tend to use this one i've had since march 2016 this was on my original taro 680 now you just plug that in the top now this i originally found quite annoying why is it prompting me to set my low input voltage do that again because it disappears fairly quickly you can crank this up down. So I'm going to take that down to, let's say, 14 port. I'm going to say 14 volts. But after using it for a while, I realised this annoying feature is really useful, and I haven't seen it on other chargers. If you're charging from a battery like this, the last thing you want is to drain this battery down to below the level that you're not going to be able to charge it. So if this gets down to, say, like two and a half volts per cell, you're going to have trouble charging that up. So setting that minimum input voltage is a really good idea. It's a good safety feature. It just means that if you're charging up a battery and your supply battery goes too low, it will just cut off, which I think is a really useful feature. Now, the lack of auto cell count detection was a bit of a surprise. I mean, all chargers have that feature these days, and initially, this was a bit of a disappointment. And using the buttons and the menus is a bit clunky, and there's too many short and long press combinations that aren't immediately obvious, and it's not that intuitive. But one of the reasons I like to use a product for a few weeks before I review it is to weed out the real good, bad and ugly. So, after using this for a while and getting used to it, what I thought were downsides, I thought I'd try out their app. It's a free iOS and Android app, and generally, these tend to be a bit of a token gesture 
with no real benefits. Big mistake and a big surprise. Now this app is properly useful. It makes this small pocket charger a bit of a little beast. It allows you to make all the same settings that you can make with the buttons on the case, but more easily, quickly, and importantly, more intuitively. As you can see, the custom presets are here, and that means you can charge at the batteries you use most commonly and at the touch of a button. And because the app connects to the charger very quickly, you don't have to wait around for very long, it's totally practical. As you can see, we've got the presets that I had previously on here. Um, you just press the button to start charging. And for me, this is a much better way to charge the batteries that I use regularly. So I've got this LiPo 4S 1.3 amp setting selected on here. I just hit the button and it started charging. You can see the cell count and everything. And we can see it's charging up here. It tells us cell voltages. It's very, very simple to use. And stop. You just hit stop and off you go. I think you'll agree using the buttons on here is a bit easier than fiddling around with long and short presses on there. I really like this. And all the time I've been using this out in the field, I've been using the app with it. It's just very, very easily and very convenient. And that's why this 608 PD is now my daily field charger and it's in my flight bag ready to go all the time. And I think ISDT have excelled themselves with this. And as their marketing blurb says, it's the new generation of smart pocket chargers. And it's only $30. Check out the link in the video description below for the full specs. And if you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more stuff like this and my other various Whirly Bloke projects. And if you are already subscribed, thanks loads. And give us a thumbs up if you found it useful. If you hated it, well, just hit the thumbs up button three times. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.